Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a duck. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the middle section of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. On the top right side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Don't place the head circle too close to the body circle or the neck will be too short. This circle should be about one fourth the size of the first circle. Inside the head circle, draw a sloping line as a construction guide to help you place the facial features later on. On the right side of the head, draw a curved shape as a guide for the beak. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of the arc in relation to the head. On the right side of the body circle, make a small mark for the front part of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the front part of the body. The front part of the body should be similar to a wide arc on its side. On the left side, make another small mark for the back portion of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the back portion of the body. Pay attention to the overall size of the body in relation to the head. Connect the head to the body using curved lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the lines for the neck wavy. The bottom of the neck should be wider than the top. Under the body, draw an angled line as a guide for the leg. This line should be similar to the letter L. On the left side of the body, draw a short angled line as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on top of the construction guide near the center of the circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle when you shade the pupil. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the bare skin. Use the curved shape on the right side as a guide to draw the beak. Follow the shape of the guide as you draw the shape of the beak. Near the bottom of the guide, curve the line to the left to create the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the mouth when you get the shape right. Extend the left side of the mouth so that it's inside the head. Darken the bottom edge of the guide to create the bottom section of the beak. Draw a curved line on the left side for the base of the beak. Break up the line for a feathery texture. Near the top of the beak, draw a short curved line for the nostril. Draw a couple of lines under the nostril for creases. Draw a few more lines near the mouth to emphasize the shape of the beak. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. The top of the head should be made up of a long continuous line. The front part of the head should be wider than the initial circle. Darken the lines under the beak for the bottom of the head. Lightly sketch a long curved horizontal line across the body as a guide for the folded wing. Make the lines lightly wavy. 
On the left side, outside of the body, draw a short angled line for the tip of the wing. When you get the shape of the wing right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes on the right side for a feathery texture. Add a series of short strokes across the wing for feathers. Add a couple of short angled lines at the bottom for more feathers. Use the angled line that's under the body as a guide to draw the leg and foot. First, draw a curved line at the top that's made up of short strokes for the feathery base of the leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg and foot around the guideline. Make the shape at the bottom wide for the webbed toes. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. At the bottom, draw a couple of long thin shapes for the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Connect the tips of the toes using a curved line for the webbing. Draw another long thin shape at the top for another toe. Connect the toes at the tip for the webbing. To the left, draw a vertical line for the other leg. On the right side, draw the other foot. Lightly sketch a wide shape for the foot. Then draw the long thin toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Darken the rest of the shape to create the webbing between the toes. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the leg that's on this side of the body as you draw the underside. Use the short angled shape on the left as a guide to draw the tail. As you darken the lines, make the shape wavier than the initial guides. Draw a series of short strokes across the shape for a feathery texture. At the top, draw a few short curved shapes for the individual feathers. Make the tips of the feathers pointy. Don't overlap the tip of the wing as you draw these shapes. Inside the neck, draw two horizontal lines for the pattern on the feathers. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use different shades of yellow to color the beak. Use shades of light yellow at the top and darker shades of yellow at the bottom. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Color slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. Color the tip of the beak black. Color the head using different shades of green. Use dark green for the shadows and light green for the highlights. Slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. You can use a little bit of black for the shadows. Don't overlap the eye and the white collar on the neck as you color the head. Use a single shade of green for an easier drawing. Color the eye brown but don't overlap the tiny highlight circle. Use dark brown to color the front part of the body and the folded wing. Make the top edge of the folded wing lighter. Draw a few short strokes throughout the wing for a feathery texture. Create a color separation between the chest and the rest of the body using a curved line. Color the bottom of the body using light brown. 
use a slightly darker brown along the bottom edge to create a shadow. Color the section under the wing blue and black but leave a small section blank for the white feathers. Use black to color the base of the tail. Color the curly feathers black as well. Leave the tip of the tail blank for the white feathers. Color the feet using different shades of orange. Use brown for the shadows and yellow-orange for the highlights. For an easier drawing, just use single shades of colors on each section instead of blending multiple colors together. Draw a cast shadow at the bottom using gray, brown, and a bit of blue. Coloring can be time-consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the duck. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.